Hi, welcome to the end of the year Backrooms Award Show hosted by yours truly, Brugly. And before you feverishly click off the video because I'm wearing snowmen on my head and I'm not in the usual Brugly style, hear me out. So I've had this idea for a while and it's that at the end of the year, I rank my personal and your personal top 10 backrooms levels or creations or entities of the year so that's what we're going to be doing in this video your list might be different than mine if it is let me know in the comments without further ado let's get into this shall we So coming in at the 10th spot is a level that I almost forgotten about. This is the Shady Gray. Now I uploaded this explanation video on December the 29th of 2021, so a year ago today, and it has quickly become one of the most popular levels in the lore and on my channel. The level is full of strange twists and turns at every different sub-level you get sent to, and it's just another terrifying reminder that you're never safe in the back rooms. If you want the full level explanation, I'll leave the link in the description to all of these in order for your convenience. In ninth place, I'm actually gonna put an entity, specifically Entity 666. And this entity's discovery took the internet and the backrooms community by storm because right after it was released, it blew up. And it's gotten more and more popular ever since that day. I uploaded my explanation of this creature on April the 24th of 2022, so in the springtime, and it has amassed 700,000 views since then. It's horrifying, and it reminds you that at all times, you need to look over your shoulder for what's behind you in the back rooms. Coming in at the number 8 spot is another level, level 69. Now, this one is a surprise contender in my opinion, and overall I think it is too, but it's a level that many people thought was a joke level. Half the comments on the video were, surprise it's not a joke level, but that couldn't be further from the truth. I covered this level on January the 10th of 2022, and the video is right at a million views, so over a million people have seen it. It's terrifying, it's creepy, and it's for a good reason too. It's a road that's surrounded by huge tall thick concrete walls and those walls trap you with a bunch of entities i mean that's terrifying seventh place i'm actually putting one of my own creations a little entity known as pinhead now as soon as i uploaded this video about pinhead and came up with the lore People loved it. People wanted to know more. The video right now is at 900,000 views, and it's even spawned a couple of its own found footage videos from several artists on YouTube. People have also implemented this entity into their own headcanon and their own lore in the back rooms, and overall, people loved the idea and the concept of it. And not to pat myself on the back or anything, but I think it was pretty good. It's also a good reminder to never fall asleep in the back rooms in a place that you're unsure about, which is pretty much every place coming in at the prestigious number six place is a very very famous level that's pretty much almost tied with number five and this is level 94 now this level has found its way into hundreds if not thousands of found footages games tiktoks youtube videos this level's famous and it's on every single wiki. How could you not love it? I mean, it's the most liminal, creepy, and isolating looking level, and it's just so uniquely liminal. I uploaded the explanation video of it on my channel on March 8th of 2022, and it's around 600K views right now, which is lower than some of the others on this list, but make no mistake when I say that there are other found footage videos or other explanation videos that have millions of views. Rip my video though. But this level is so popular that even people that aren't into the backroom stuff know about it. Every liminal space enjoyer, casual or hardcore, knows about this level, and it's all over TikTok and Reddit, and just everyone knows what these green hills are. So now we're in the top five, and in the fifth place spot, I'm putting a level that was the first real level that I explained on this channel. It is the backroom's integer limit level 
or as is now known, the Endless Ending. I uploaded my explanation of this level way back in September of 2021, and that video has amassed almost 4 million views. That's crazy. The level itself was one of the first theoretical exits of the backrooms, so people flocked to that idea. Everybody wanted to know if you could get out of this hellscape. You can't. But this level also has a huge nostalgia factor with me since it was the first level that started my love and appreciation for all things backrooms. And that's why, my friends, it is taking the fifth place spot. Fourth place goes to another level that people hold near and dear, and that would be level 3999, or the true ending. This level seems like it came out of nowhere in the lore. I mean, I had never heard of it until one day, everybody knew about it. I uploaded my explanation of it on January 4th, 2022, and it has a million views. A million people have seen this level. It's famous because it's a possible exit and because who doesn't love a liminal arcade? I mean, that's one of the best things in the back rooms, right? Now we're getting into the top three levels of all time. The rest of these are levels, so get ready, get prepared. My ears just fell off. In third place, I am putting level you cheated. This level shocked everyone with how scary, with how terrifying, with how gut-wrenching it is. And the video I uploaded about it hit a million views in literally two weeks. And that is the fastest video has hit a million on my channel. And it probably will always be that way. It was insane. Everybody loved it. And it seems to me that people were really curious about what would happen if you tried to cheat your way through the back rooms. Don't do it. In this second place and runner-up for the best backrooms level of the year, I am putting level exclamation mark, or as it's commonly known, run for your life. This level is so popular that it has an entire fan base of its own. Every backrooms enjoyer knows this level, and people that aren't even in this lore and in this community know what it is. There's been thousands and thousands of found footages about this level, thousands and thousands of pictures and, and CGI stuff made, so much lore about it. There's a ton of stuff, and a ton of new stuff, actually. And who doesn't love an overall concept of being thrown into a hallway and chased by a horde of angry creatures that want to eat you? Who doesn't love that? I uploaded my explanation of this level on September 26th, 2021, and it's at a 1,000,000.1 views, which is insane. And I think it's literally just almost as famous as the number one spot. And speaking of that glorious number one spot, the best backrooms creation of the year goes to the pool rooms. Yes, I said the pool rooms. The infinite labyrinth of tiled floors and ceilings and walls that are flooded with a deep blue liquid. The sounds of splashing waves in the distance and nothing that could hurt you for miles and miles unless you go to one of its 30 sublevels, which probably want to eat you somehow. This level has spawned countless found footages, countless videos, and literally when I say this as a fan base, I mean people are fans of the pool rooms. So much lore, so much stuff about it. It's even been in a Kane Pixels video, so I think it's, you know, it's popular. The level is probably one of my favorites, if not my favorite, and I think that a ton of y'all will agree with me on it. Let me know in the comments if you agree, or if you're furiously typing a comment about why I'm wrong. Let me know that too. I uploaded my explanation of the pool rooms on March the 25th of 2022, and it's sitting at 800k views and climbing, but don't take my word for it. There are hundreds of other videos with millions of views, and they're found footages and that kind of thing. It's everywhere. It took over YouTube. Just the concept of being stuck in this pretty peaceful place is enough to get this the number one spot. So yeah. That was it for my top 10 creations of the year in the back rooms. Let me know if you agree. Let me know if you disagree. I want to make this a yearly thing where every year I get together, do a little award show type deal, just like this video. Let me know if you like this format too with the face cam. I normally don't do this over here, but I could if you like it. Who knows? Thank you all so much for a great year here on Brewly. I wanted to thank you face to face person to person. I appreciate you for watching the videos. I appreciate you for interacting with the content. I love and appreciate all of you. This year has been amazing. We've gained 500,000 subscribers and 100 million channel views this year alone. 
So thank you so much. I appreciate you. Next year, it's going to be even better. I have so much planned. I cannot wait to show you what I have going on. Hopefully, you're ready to stick around. Hopefully, I have the notifications on. And just hope you're ready. Are you ready? Let me know if you're ready. Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. And have a great new year. And I will see you next year.